Today we're taking a look at the 1-8 scale figure of Hatsune Miku Symphony 2019 version by Gutsuma Company, sculpted by Sakaki Workshops, and paintwork by Toru Niyakata, who by the way also painted one of my dream figures, which is Magical Nia, and sculpted the beautiful incoming Rei Muhakure figure. Unfortunately, the box arrived damaged. Anyway, all sides has this gold outline and classy medieval-like pattern, along with a full body photo of the product and a half body shot with a theater background. To open, it's easy as peeling the round stickers on each side of the lid. And now we have her out of the box. So this is what she looks like. The ponytails are wrapped with plastic separately while the body and base are detached. Bottom looks simple and somewhat dry, but at least they painted a design related to the figure's theme rather than just the plain white round base. Assembly is simple. The base connects to her shoes with no trouble. Although once it's placed, it's hard to pull off. The twin tails, however, are such hassle. <laughs> this is a usual and already unexpected, you know, struggle for Hatsune Miku figure collectors. Small details like her name printed on the collar is one thing I like. I don't think it holds that much relevance to the figure overall, but I just appreciate it as it is. And of course, I love a Hatsune Miku figure even more when they include her number. It's just one of the features that confirm her character that most figure manufacturers miss these days. The paintwork truly amazes me. As simple as it may look from afar, the pearl white dress actually has subtle teal shadows that are visible when you check closely. I mean, the way the skirt looks fluttering as if she's about to turn and the extra details of folds and creases on her pleats are already attractive and then they, you know, decided to add small sprinkles of teal shadows? Neat! In addition, they even painted the sole of her shoes with teal as well. Dude, that isn't even noticeable from afar and they still decided to paint it that way. Now we usually display our figures with them facing front, so manufacturers often put less effort with details at the back, but the way both her collar and bow floats meet air with, you know, curves and all, I really appreciate that. Of course, my favorite part is how they capture Hatsune Miku with her face plate or facial expression. She looks happy to perform and her big eyes and soft smile helps emphasize that emotion. Size-wise, she looks smaller. Both are declared as 1-8 scale figures though, and the previous Hatsune Miku Symphony looks more of a 1-7 scale figure. Regardless of size, the two versions look beautiful. They emit this elegant vibe and despite the differences in, you know, just the base color and overall details, both figures are worth it. This Hatsune Miku theme only started recently. There are only three Miku Symphony figures as of now and the recent one has two versions. So if you're planning on choosing a line for her shrine and you would love to invest more on high quality figures, then I recommend you choose this theme. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our Hatsune Miku Symphony unboxing and I'm honestly hyped for the 2020 version, although I ordered the one without the music box to get it last. But thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!